Uh, I want to turn now to some BLM regulations. Uh, the Bureau has proposed a new public lands rule for uh, allowing for 10-year conservation leases to designate conservation as a formal use of public lands on par with energy development, grazing, and recreation. This uh, has been characterized as a, si a seismic shift in lands management. As you know, I'm a committed supporter of conservation, but I'm also committed to reaching another critical goal, which is transitioning to 100% uh, renewable energy by 2035. And I want to be certain that BLM's rulemaking will not end up slowing down the right kind of energy development right at the at precisely the wrong time when we need to be speeding it up. So could you explain how this proposed rule uh, accounts for the increasingly urgent need to expedite renewable energy development on federal lands? Thank you, Congresswoman, and we believe very strongly that conservation and clean energy go hand in hand on BLM lands. Um, the, the rule does not intend to slow down any of these projects, and in fact, we are like-minded that we do need to ramp up our clean energy projects. We've had uh, many successful efforts on helping clean energy projects um, identify the right areas. It's, it's placing them in the right areas. Um, uh, making sure that the stakeholders are at the table early on so that we have consensus going forward, that sometimes that will slow down the process when not everyone is on the same page. So um, everything we do is in furtherance of, um, of a healthy uh, environment, and um, those clean energy projects are, are top of mind for us, and um, I can, I just will tell you that the role, this particular role has no intention of slowing down any um, clean energy projects on BLM lands. 